Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first episode of the, I'm just going to show you the back, the Cupcake Corner series that I have finished. And I wanted to start off by saying I apologize, it's taken me so long to film these. Um, <clears throat> life, <laughs> right? Um, so what we're going to do is just like the Lollipop series, this is the Cupcake Corner series and I'm going to do two two uh, dolls an episode and then at the end um, have more of a, a uh, like a photo shoot kind of thing. And I do want to tell you guys, if you saw the last like little photo shoot, I, <laughs> I wanted that to be so much better than what it was. Um, long story short... I had a tube put in my ear and it was bothering me and I was just like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, but I got to do it. So I just took some pictures and then afterwards I was like, I could have done so much better with that. So I kind of, I kind of felt like I wasn't very happy with it, but I did it. <laughs> um, so like I was saying, this is the Cupcake Corner series and it is copyrighted 1985, same year I was born. There are 12, it says characters, but I just call them dolls, 12 dolls. And like I said, today we're going to start with the first two. So, I'm going to show you the first one. Buttermilk Biscuit. Oh, and one thing after another. <laughs> I am all bandaged up because the youngest cat in our house, which... Unfortunately, he's the only one that has claws, and the reason I say unfortunately, I, I'm getting sidetracked, but just pause this for just a second. The reason I say unfortunately is because I have three cats in my house. Um, one is my old man. His name's Mr. Fuzzy Butt. He, uh, he was declawed years ago. And then I have Churchy, which is the one that always likes to make an appearance in my tutorials or any other video. He's right over here sleeping. And, uh, he, he was outside originally and he, um, he disappeared for like a week and I was devastated because I love my churchy. And when he came back, I told my husband, I said, that's it. He's not staying outside. I'm bringing, I'm bringing him in. I do not care. I'm bringing him in. And he, my husband was not happy, but so I brought him in. Well, then it was actually really close to that same time. Um, my husband was outside in his garage watching TV by the wood stove and this sickly, just chronically sick, nasty little cat, it was just a kitten, he was probably about, about that wide, came walking into the garage and, uh, s I mean, just snot and goo running everywhere. And of course my husband falls in love with it. And so we brought him in. And we got him all cleaned up. Well, unfortunately, Churchy started sharpening him. My, my husband is a carpenter, and he remodeled this entire house. Like, all the wood trim and everything, and, like, these little shelves. He he made it all by hand. He, there's um, wood trim along... Oh, you can see it. Right there. That wood trim right there. It's all through the house on the top, too. And, um, uh, <laughs> the doors he did, well, Churchy started sharpening his claws on all of the wood stuff my husband built. And I completely understand my husband said, get him declawed or put him out. And I was not putting him out. So unfortunately, even though Churchy was, is older, I had to get him to Claude and the vet even asked, they called and they said, you know, I just want to make sure you guys have tried everything before we get him to Claude because older cats don't do good. Right. And I'm, and I, I, I know the girl I suggest I have tried everything. My husband took a, a, a log and drilled a, 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 like a piece of wood to the bottom of it. So it stood up straight and he'll sharpen his claws on that. And then a little bit later, he'll go to the cabinet door or he'll go to the closet door and it's just clawed up. And on, and then we bought him um, a cat tree. My husband actually came home with like a six foot tall cat tree, which they all love. And it had scratching posts and he'll scratch on it and then turn around and go scratch on the 
back porch wood frame and like well for instance we have so my house has two full bathrooms and then one like it just has a toilet in it and then it has like these french doors that my husband made that's all scratched up and it's it's bad and uh so we had to get him to claude um saying all that to say little buddy the little one that my husband fell in love with uh, he's the only one that still has claws and he does not sharpen his claws on anything other than a box on the floor. He loves his little, like at all these, you know, those little flat boxes. We have, um, one of those in the kitchen on the floor and that is his box and he scratches his claws in it and loves that box. But anyway, that's the only thing he'll, he'll sharpen his claws on and then he'll kind of tear at the scratching post a little bit. But anyway, he was in his box this morning. And of course, me being the pester, the <laughs> I went in there and was scruffing on his back and his belly. And he, I went to, you know, I, I scruffed him up. And then as I was coming away, he went whoosh and got me right across the top. Oh my gosh. And it was so bad. The, kind of trigger warning because this might be gross to some of you. Whenever I pulled my hand up, I saw what I thought was a big chunk of like uh, skin hanging off of my hand. You know, like he ripped my skin. I have no idea what that sound is. I just opened the windows and it sounds like a blade truck is going down the road. But anyway, what I thought was a piece of skin on my hand and uh, I went upstairs to put band-aids on with Neosporin so it doesn't get infected or anything. And I looked down and I'm like, that is not skin. Like a little piece of his claw came off in my in my hand. That's how bad he got me. Oh, oh, it hurt. But anyway, again, saying all that to say, that's the reason I'm all, I am all bandaged up and poor Churchy, he's recovering. <laughs> City workers must be doing something on the streets because I don't know what that sound is. Anyway, so let's get back to this. Seven minutes of me just yapping. <laughs> it's, I have had a long day. <laughs> So I needed somebody to talk to other than 16 year olds and my husband. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is, I'm going to assume Mr. Well, you know what happens when you assume I am going to, this is Mr. Buttermilk Biscuit and I used all Red Heart Super Saver on him. He was the first one I made and I did do these in order minus one, but I, Ooh, let wait till we get to this get to that one and I will tell you guys and I have it I'm gonna say I have picked up my favorite anywho so I made him with all red heart super saver he was really easy he doesn't have a full body he actually has like a just a little seam but let me get him camera ready and I will show you guys super proud of this series too. And you know what? This series was a lot easier than the first series, the, um, lollipop lane. This is the cupcake corner. This one is a lot easier than the last one. The last one had a lot of errors and this one did have an error, one error throughout the entire 12 patterns. So once you realize that it was wrong in like the first or second, you're like, Oh, I know what to do now. And then I happened to realize that all of the hats I don't know if the person that designed it had a tight tension or what it was, but I ended up, because you use a four millimeter for the, for the dolls, but for the hats, I actually went up to a five millimeter. I think like on the third one, I, on the third pattern, I ended up going up to a uh, five millimeter because the hats came out so small, but, and then I redid all of them, but one, which is, I'm going to show you and I still want to redo it, but I'm going to stop. Okay. So this is my Mr buttermilk biscuit. Isn't he cute? He's got his little, and there you can see how his body is. So he kind of sits. You got to prop him up on something, but that is my Mr. Buttermilk biscuit. I think he is so adorable and his hands. See how, see how his hands are on the top of the rolling pin. I was gonna like glue them down or something like that. And I thought, no, I don't want, ah, I don't want to glue his hands, but that is my Mr. Buttermilk biscuit. And the second one 
I'm going to say is probably my second to least favorite. And I don't know if it's because of the doll head, if it's because of the hat being too little or what it is, but there is something about this one that I'm just, I'm not fond of, and I don't know why, but this is strawberry jam. Adorable. And this is mine. <laughs> So if you notice, like, look at the hat. See how this hat has such a big, let me scoot in closer to you guys. See how this one has, it's like so poofy at the top. This is the one that I used a four millimeter hook on and I really wanted to go back and make it with a five millimeter. And I just, I didn't, I wanted to be done with this series. Um, I, I, I just, I didn't go back, but, and if you notice, I have all the hats pinned on because I don't want them to come off. And then the, the, uh, uh, the skirt is really like ruffled tight. So I'm wondering if it's supposed to be like that. Cause see how it is in the picture, how it's all puffed up in the back. Like, it's almost like a disc around. That was really hard to do when you can't. It's like a disc around. I mean, that's what it looks like. It's just, was it supposed to be that way? I don't know. But that is my book. Uh, my strawberry jam. <laughs> there. Get the stem to stand up. So this one, I like I said, it's not my favorite. It's not the worst, not the worst, but here are my first two buttermilk biscuit looks a little shaggy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome if I could get a thumbnail right here? Alrighty. Anywho, I have no idea what I just said. Any. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's been a day today. That is it for today. I am going to go ahead and... No, I don't want to. I was going to go through here and tell you all of them, but I kind of don't want to. I want you to be surprised with each episode. Uh, yeah. So, just to kind of babble a little bit. I have decided to... Uh, de-stash and declutter all of my, all of my things. And my room is an absolute nightmare. Um, I would, I would show you guys, but this room also doubles as our bedroom and I want to respect my husband's wishes and he asked that I not show our bedroom on camera and I completely understand. So I'm not going to show you guys my room, but it's a flipping nightmare. Let me tell you that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I got a lot of work to get done. So I'm going to get off here and I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys thought about these two. The, um, uh, buttermilk biscuit and strawberry jam and stay tuned because next time is going to be the next two uh subscribe if you haven't hit that thumbs up leave me a comment and check out the description box i've got links to all my goodies down there for you guys and la 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 that's it i'm gonna get off here and get back to work <laughs> oh if you could only see the nightmare behind you okay guys i'm gonna get out of here and i'll see you in the next one bye